Good. So I'd like to welcome everybody to our mini lecture course on cosmology and quantum foundations. So this is part of a series of um, mini lecture courses and workshops that we organize with the University of Cambridge. Um, this is actually the third in a series. There'll be um, one more at the end of this year and um, two more next year on various um, foundation aspects of cosmology and um, uh, the philosophy of science related to cosmology. So, um, the sort of questions that we're going to address is, is the next three days um, relate to um, interests that are at the interface between uh, cosmology, physics, metaphysics. And so this is one reason why we've been developing this program um, to try to give more force to the cosmologists and also uh, to the philosophers to basically help us explore some of these very difficult questions. Um, questions like, you know, is what we see in the universe everything there is in the universe? Um, are, are there hidden worlds out there? Um, in the quantum theory, we have the many worlds interpretation. In cosmology and string theory, we have the landscape that leads us to the multiverse concept. Many universes that we uh, can't see, can never see, but maybe reality. Is it reality? What is reality? Uh, can we treat the concept of the entire universe because we're in the universe? Does it make sense to talk about other universes? Um, how do we test any of this? Um, how do we take what we observe and extrapolate to what we don't observe? Um, what we don't see or what we can't see ever? Um, um, and what about, what does we mean? Um, we are observers, but what is the concept of observers? How does consciousness enter into that? You may hear a little bit about weird things like Boltzmann brains, that sort of thing, which worry uh, some cosmologists and should equally well worry the philosophers. Um, entities in space that may be the ultimate fate of all of us. Um, anyway, so this is a dialogue. Um, I've wanted to show you two pictures just to introduce things which come from the concept of what we can see. And so this is everything pretty much that we can see. It's 1.6 million galaxies um, on the sky. Um, this is what it's like. The Milky Way is the band in the middle. Um, and, um, you know, uh, we assume that m many of these are much like our own galaxy, teeming with stars, stars teeming with planets, etc. cetera. Um, what lies beyond this, what we can't see? And where did all this come from? And so we have made enormous strides in understanding where this came from. And I'm just going to show you one more picture. That was the universe today. W what has been done to this picture is this is the glow from the Big Bang, the, the, the microwave background, the fossil radiation. And it glows at us with a more or less uniform glow throughout space. Um, you all know this, but that, that mean radiation has been removed from this picture, cleaned. And you're looking at the, the, the noise, the ripples, in the temperature fluctuation. And you see tiny regions that are slightly hotter, others that are slightly colder all over the place. And these are the fossil fluctuations that gave rise to what you saw in the previous picture. Okay, so this is an immense advance. Not only do we know the current universe, but we pretty much know the initial conditions from which all the structure we see began. But what we don't know is what really what gave rise to these initial fluctuations. So we have many theories. You'll hear about some of this. Um, they involve things like inflation, and sometimes they don't. But, you know, we're going back to understand these origins of fluctuations. It's very tightly coupled to the quantum theory, because that gives us the origin of the fluctuations. So in, this, in the next three days, we're going to try to bridge this gap and give different views on um, what these fluctuations mean, what lies beyond the fluctuations, before the fluctuations, what are the things that we can't see as opposed to the things that we can see, etc. So the first speaker is Simon Saunders, who's going to um, develop the case for many worlds, quantum mechanics and cosmology. <laughs> 